So the National Grid have warned that there may be blackouts in the worst case scenario this winter. Well, I suppose there are always going to be blackouts in the worst case scenario because the worst case scenario would be that the entire electricity grid went down because of some sort of technical fault um, or some such. But what they mean is that by their sort of best and worst case estimates in terms of the weather, there could be blackouts this winter. So what do, what's the weather got to do with electricity supply? Well, actually it has quite a lot to do with electricity supply. And when we talk about blackouts, we are talking about electricity going off. And uh, the, the weather has a part to play in this because um, at the moment um, we are quite reliant on wind electricity generation. And uh, on a very windy day this can account for a large percentage, um, upwards of 50% um, of our electricity production. Um, but obviously on a windless day this can get down to perhaps only 5%. So the majority of our electricity generation comes from gas and that is the second part of the story because the almost entirety of our heating in the UK comes from gas so for most people their heating comes from gas now some people obviously use solid fuels like coal and wood and some people use oil and some people who um, are very forward-thinking will be using heat pumps or some people, a very small percentage, will be using electric heating. But the vast majority, the biggest percentage, will be using gas for heating. So on a cold day, there is a strong demand for gas. Now the UK, for various reasons, has got rid of all its gas storage. We do have a tiny little bit, but essentially none. And this means that, essentially, in, in winter... Um, on, a, on a very cold day, a lot of people will put their heating on. And we're talking about blackouts as if there's going to be a shortage of generation capacity. There isn't. There's more than enough generation capacity to go around on a cold day. Um, we have enough power stations to feed the grid and all the electric cars and all the additional consumers um, you know, more than enough, um, perhaps even 1.5 times peak demand. But the fact remains that those power stations, the majority of them, um, run on gas. And if there is a gas shortage, then there will be an electricity shortage. But I don't think there's a huge amount to worry about because this will only be at peak times. And there's another factor that comes into play, and that is what's known as peaking power stations. Now, the base load um, of our gas um, electricity generation is something called a combined cycle um, generator. And that means that the um, gas is used in two ways. One is to drive um, directly an engine, um, and the other way is to use that waste heat from the exhaust gases from that engine to uh, boil steam and boil water, create steam and drive a steam turbine. So these combined cycle gas turbine um, power stations are normally around 50% efficient and that's very good. But in times of really high demand, um, there are emergency generators um, that also are used and these are open cycle and these are a lot less efficient. So at peak times, um, what could happen is that if it's very cold and not very windy, we could end up being reliant on these open cycle um, generators. And that means that they're much less efficient, so they'll use much more gas to produce the same amount of electricity and put an even larger load on the gas grid. If this coincides with lots of people putting their heating on, um, then the gas pressure in the, in the national grid for gas will fall and load shedding will occur and the biggest users of gas are the ones that will get off shut off first and they are the power stations because they're easy to turn off and they will have an arrangement with national grid that says if uh, if the pressure falls below a certain amount they can um, be asked to turn off so does this mean that we'll have um, blackouts for days um, no we won't does it mean that um, you'll have 
um, days and days and days of blackouts no you won't because what will happen is as the the grid frequency falls certain areas will get turned off but this is an if not a, um, a certainty because actually we have very very good wind generation in this country we have um, good interconnectors um, with other countries in Europe and the chances are that actually um, on a cold day um, that there'll be enough wind to make up the difference and actually I think people will be very reluctant to put their heating on due to the price increases that have come into effect so this really is a worst case scenario and to those people saying that um, electric cars and stuff will, won't be able to be charged well that is sort of true that they won't be able to be charged in that peak period but um, off peak overnight uh, which is where most people charge their cars you won't have a problem with that because there'll be more than enough capacity in the grid. Um, so, you know, this is just to, to clarify, this is really we're talking about a gas shortage um, and the gas shortage exacerbated by people putting on their heating um, on a very cold day. So is it something to worry about? Well, yes, it is. I would be making provisions for... Um, well, I am making provisions for, um, you know, just having a few hours... Um, uh, in that evening peak uh, where perhaps we could be without power um, but we're, we're not talking about days and days without power or even a, even a whole day without power um, this is going to be um, an unlikely scenario but one that is, is still very possible and uh, it would have to be that combination of a cold windless day and um, uh, or perhaps you know a, a, a series of cold windless days where people get very cold they're forced to put their heating on and in doing so they bring the gas um, pressure down um, power stations um, trip out and therefore certain rolling blackouts will have to be put into operation now what i think will happen is people will be encouraged to shift their usage outside of that um, that peak and Whilst I think that will help to a certain extent, it might not actually help quite as much because there will still that demand will just be shifted to later, um, and if if there's not enough gas to go around in a given day, then shifting the peak perhaps won't make that much of a difference. And the other point um, to be made is also that most houses that are heated by gas. Um, need electricity to run the boilers so if you lose your electricity you will also lose your heating even if it's gas so it's good a good idea I think to have um, some sort of backup if you possibly can um, if you can't then you probably will know about the power cuts in advance but it is a, it is a worst case scenario but something to, to bear in mind so thanks for watching